Artificial intelligence is taking over, from Apple's Siri to your vacuum bot sweeping your house all day. But if you think AIs are bad news, chances are you've watched too many movies like Ex Machina. Evil robots going rogue and taking over the world? Think again. It looks like AIs are here to help us. Recently, AI successfully learned how to recognize splatted mosquitoes. Sounds like a hack for deadly viruses. So let's dive into it. First off, why did we need an AI to recognize squished mosquitoes in the first place? Everyone has been bitten by a mosquito, right? The red mark the itchy scratching that never seems to leave you. In fact, the redness of a mosquito bite is actually caused by an allergic reaction from a mosquito's saliva. But mosquitoes are more than just little annoying biters. Did you know that mosquitoes kill more humans than any other animal? Yes, this deadly insect spreads very dangerous diseases and viruses like malaria, Zika, and dengue. All those diseases have serious symptoms and, if not treated, prove to be fatal. It's much more common for people to die from these diseases than you think, especially in developing countries like India, Bangladesh and Nigeria, the death toll from mosquitoes is very high. In fact, World Health Organization says mosquitoes kill around 700,000 people a year. Yikes! And it's not just humans who are at risk. Your pets, particularly dogs, are vulnerable to these parasites. Ever heard of West Nile virus or dog heartworms? Yes, they are painful as they sound. This is why scientists felt the need to create a smartphone app to monitor these pests. But it's not as easy as it sounds. In the United States alone, there are over 200 species of mosquitoes. Each lives in different environments with very different behaviors and bites different animals. Out of these, three species are most responsible for transmitting diseases, yellow fever mosquito, the Asian tiger mosquito, and the southern house mosquito. But tracking these wordy species and recognizing them at a single glance is no simple feat. And that's where AI comes in. Unlike humans, computers can't look at a tree, remember it, and say, oh look, that's another tree. Our computers can have a hard time identifying images. But now, AI's smart enough to go through photos and learn to recognize objects, much like a three-year-old. So, to track different species of disease-transmitting mosquitoes, both dead and alive, AI can be fed their photos. This means AI can now recognize a mosquito automatically. This complex process is called AI image recognition. While actually involves a crucial step before it, computer vision. By giving computers visual information to interpret and take further instructions, computer vision is a growing field. Think of how your smartphone uses facial recognition. It asks you first to take your photo from different angles. Here, it's trying to learn and remember your face in every possible way. Computer vision uses deep learning methods to perform image processing and classification, object detection, image reconstruction, and even colorizing images. You might have encountered AI with computer vision more often than you think. If you take a photo now and perform a visual search on Google, there's an AI behind it trying to best match your photo to all the data it has. Visually impaired people are now using AIs to live better lives. Worried about getting catfished on a dating app? AI's got your back. A simple search can help you track down all the fake accounts and avoid being scammed. Security agencies are now widely using AI technology to scan CCTVs and videos to recognize people straight away. Still think AIs are evil? And now for the sciencey part. How does image recognition work? By organizing the raw data, each image is coded into labels that physically describe each image. 19 plus images on Facebook? Check. Photo of a random bee? Checked. Splattered mosquito? Checked. Next, a predictive model is created to decipher each image. Each algorithm is written extensively because even a slight difference can make your model useless. Now that you know how AIs are trained, you can fully appreciate what the researchers creating this AI did. So let's look at how the AI was trained. This was achieved by two researchers, Song Kwan Ong and Hamdan Ahmad, in Malaysia with the help of three volunteers. They started off by imaging 1,500 photos of mosquitoes. Each mosquito was photographed twice, first when it touched the participants' hands and next after it was splattered. This was used to create a very extensive data set of half-healthy-looking and half-squished-to-death mosquitoes. Mosquitoes. Next, they used this to train two AIs to spot these mosquitoes on human skin. For an AI, recognizing mosquitoes on human pores is not an easy task, so the researchers trained them by looking at different versions of each mosquito. Ong says their aim was to create images similar to real life. After this training, the higher performing AI can guess the right species about 80% of the time. Until now, similar research has been attempted before. One study team taught an AI to identify 15 different types of mosquitoes based on their species, sex, and strain. Another research team trained an AI to learn 67 distinct mosquito species visually. Now, with this recent study involving different versions of mosquitoes, things just get better. Each previous study generated a data set that can now be merged into this recent one to give AI a better chance at spotting its winged foes. As Janelle Caret of the University of Rhode Island believes, the more photos available, the better. Moving on, what does this mean for us in the future? Imagine such an AI powering your smartphone app. If you get bit by a mosquito, you can simply take a 
a snap of it and loop up whether you need to rush to the hospital or ignore it. Even researchers can use this AI to track the spread of deadly viruses caused by mosquitoes worldwide. With more research, we're possibly looking at a future where no one has to die from a stupid mosquito bite. In other related news, first, AI can now help tackle the antibiotic resistance. With the world just coming out of the COVID-19 pandemic, we're on our way to an antibiotic resistance crisis. At first sight of cold symptoms, people panic and take unprescribed antibiotics, weakening their immunity. But popping pills at every migraine might not be the answer. The more antibiotics you take, the more resistant these pathogens get. In fact, a UN report in 2019 has said that such bacterial resistance is reaching a critical point. By 2050, these resistant versions can kill 10 million people every year. Again, AI comes to our rescue here. New generative AI models can now navigate the vast chemical space of bacteria. This way, AI can discover new antibacterial medicines faster than any human. This research is undertaken by the University of Oxford, focusing on developing new drugs with next-generation AI technology. The number of possible suitable molecules in a drug is more than the number of atoms in the universe. With powerful machine learning techniques, AI can generate the final molecule needed for a specific new drug. Then, a high-performance computer performs molecular simulations to see what reactions it can have with its neighboring molecules. Finally, each experiment is predicted in a small, fridge-sized AI-driven lab, RoboRxN. RoboRxN can now help researchers create new molecules anywhere, anytime. Pretty cool, right? Next, for more chilling news, AI predicts how your last selfie on Earth will look like. Worried about missing the end of the world? AI makes sure you don't get FOMO. An AI image generator recently turning heads is DALL-E2. Soon to be a mobile app for sure, this AI can generate pretty interesting images from any prompt you give. Now, it has made it possible for us to see what our last picture on Earth would look like. Uploaded by a TikTok account called Robot Overlords, this AI has us all on the edge of our seats. The haunting pictures it generated show humans standing disqualified with melting eye sockets and elongated fingers. Plumes of smoke go up in the background as the world crashes down into ashes. It looks like the AI might be warning us about a zombie apocalypse about to happen. Or who knows, maybe it's just Dali having some artistic fun. And lastly, an international workshop on trustworthy AI was held to discuss AI ethics. The International Technology Research Institute held its first online workshop to discuss trust and ethics in AI on 2nd August 2022. Researchers from around the world discussed how AI should stand for assistive intelligence and not evil robots outsmarting humans and taking over their jobs. By establishing a trusted AI framework, we can have AI introduced into products and exported globally. This paves the way for an innovative future where common international standards are set to build a friendship with AI technology. In image recognition, for instance, AI should overcome its inherent racial and sexist biases. Especially in the medical field, AIs should be trained to protect patient privacy and keep information secure. With AIs becoming more and more human-like, it's about time we try and teach it some ethics. That's a wrap for this video. How do you feel about AI getting smarter and smarter? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.